Today we're going to be talking about the problem of how do we trust a service mesh. When you have multiple services that are originating from the same IP address, how do you tell a trusted service from an untrusted service? In this demonstration, we're going to make two connections from our service mesh. The first will be from a trusted connection and the second will be from an untrusted connection. We'll show that when we go through a squid proxy, we're unable to distinguish the connections. Next, we'll connect via a big IP and we'll demonstrate how we can use the information that's provided by Istio's mutual TLS to identify which service sent the original request. Third, we'll take a look at using the SSL orchestrator to actually intercept the traffic that is being used by the untrusted connection and look at the contents of the HTTPS connection. So here you can see that we're connecting to the teapot service. In each case, we're making a connection from the trusted and the untrusted connection. From the squid server, you can see here that the connections are coming from the same IP address and we cannot really tell which service is which. Now we're going to connect going through to big IP. Take a look at this first connection that goes through. Here's the second request that goes through from the big IP. Now on the big IP, you can observe that we have logged the identity of the user. Let's take a look at how we're identifying the users. First, we're going to look here under virtual servers, and we're going to look at the I rule that we have attached to the virtual server. In this I rule, what we're doing is we're extracting the identity of the user from the client that is sent from Istio. We're using that to make a determination of whether it is an untrusted or trusted connection as well as logging that connection. Now we're going to look at the case where we're going to accept the untrusted connection and we're going to decrypt the TLS connection that is being made. In this first example, we're making an HTTPS connection from the trusted connection. As we expand this out, here we can see that we have a signed certificate from Amazon. Now we're going to open up Wireshark. We've configured the SSL orchestrator to send a decrypted copy of the traffic to this Windows device. Now making the connection from the untrusted service. Here you can see that we're making a connection to the untrusted service and we're getting a self-signed certificate error. This is due to the SSL orchestrator regenerating the certificate that the client is requesting. We're going to use the dash K option to tell the client to ignore the certificate. Normally you would add the trusted certificate to the client to avoid certificate errors. Going back into Wireshark, we can see that we have successfully decrypted the traffic. Wireshark is seeing traffic that is on port 443 that is decrypted, demonstrating that we have now seen the untrusted traffic in the clear. That is all. Thank you.